at the gym. This is what's happening. People are swimming. It's full time. It's summer now and I'm at the sauna. I'm here. I was here and then after that I'm gonna go to the steam bath. There's my bottle of water over there. People are swimming gracefully. It's, it's nice. Listen to the water. It's a whole team. This is nice. So, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Simply Sasa. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe and to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. I am back. I never left. It's heavy. I'd gone for sauna. See, my, my skin is breathing. I went for sauna. I'm even sweating. <laughs> I went for sauna and I did steam. Today I did not do any workout. So now that power is gone. My hair is dripping. My back, my back is, is, is all wet there. But anyway, that's the story for Africa, sadly. Hey. So in today's video, <laughs> in today's video, guys, let's talk about it as I head home. Yeah. Africa story. So when power goes, it affects almost everything. Like everything, everything. About why I am on this video. This is not a, a, a vlog for entrepreneurs, but it's just a vlog for you know. Let's let's just talk. <laughs> so while I was on in the morning, I came across a video. Right, this video made me feel. Okay, look at my skin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> my hair is all wet I'm, I'm not about to wait the robot is already and I'm going yeah okay so you know what I came across a video today and I, I couldn't help but sort of feel sorry and laughed at the same time so the video guys is, is, is mm, I don't even know how to say it but it's just a warning guys that uh you know uh tourists when you're a tourist and you decide to visit africa guys make sure that when you go to this you know especially the animal what what you know to go and see animals and all that because we all know that you guys overseas think that we live in the jungles so you're gonna find an elephant or you find a lion or you find whatever it is a gorilla <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I think they were at Cape of Good Hope uh, in Cape Town. We all know that tourists love to see, uh, they, 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 they want to visit Cape Town, it's the mother city, right? And um, so this lady, and I think it should be the husband, I think, um, they in their car, minding their own business, so they stopped because there was a, there were a lot of baboons, what do you call a lot of baboons is it a school of baboons or what correct me on there i don't know a troop or whatever i don't know so you know as cars are parked by the roadside and there they are <laughs> the car has come to a halt like it has stopped and guess what they do they get out right the windows are all opened the windows are opened and the doors are opened what does the baboon do <laughs> The baboon does not waste time, it gets in the car. I could see that the gentleman and the lady were so, so, so afraid. I'm sure it's an experience they will never forget, you know. Come to Africa, you don't play with animals. Damn! Ourselves, we play very far away from them, you know. And because, like, it's so sad. Luckily, I, I don't think a baboon can kill somebody, but imagine if it had just slipped either of them. The window, it, it literally got in the car. 
and they were busy, you know. They were so hey! 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 Instead of playing hide and seek, he tried to pull the lady's uh, jacket. Oh, I'm like, oh my gosh, I felt sorry for them, but at least there was a gentleman that helped chase the, 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 the baboon away. And then they managed to, you know, close the windows as it was doing its funny rounds around the car. And they wanted that particular car. There were other cars, but that one, I don't know what they did. Ah, but my goodness. Yeah, it's like, why do people want to play with their lives like that? You don't play with animals when you come here. So you guys, you must check out this video right there. And, uh... <music> Guys, see how that man is so traumatized, he's in distress, look at the lady, this is so sad, she's running away, oh my gosh, this is not <laughs> fair, yes, it is, it's a troop of baboons, it is a troop, there are a lot, it's not just one, I hope ah, they will never do this again, because mm -mm, mm -mm, this is quite, it's, it's quite an experience, that's all I can say, mm, look at it, look, it's very stubborn. It wants this car. I wonder what they did. I wonder what it is that they did to this baboon for it to spot only their car. Look, their cars behind their car. There's a car by the side. I think it's for tourists, and it just wants that one. The, 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 the gentleman is busy trying to chase away the stick, but it won't budge. It will go around and then come back again. Oh my gosh, I don't think they would want to come back to Africa again if because <laughs> this is not done by people who live in Africa. People who live in Africa know that when you're going to see animals in their in their kingdom, you close your windows if you don't have a tour guide. You close your windows, just play it safe, you lose nothing. But if you're gonna leave it like this, then it will be something else. You might go back in a coffin. Not that it's okay, but just be careful. At least it's a baboon. Imagine if it was an elephant or a, or a lion. You could have pounced on them a long time ago. So, guys, be careful. Tourists, tourists, you better be careful. Yes, this is this is yeah. it. I'm out here. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. Until the next video, guys. It is ciao from me. Bye.